Hey guys, it's Mr. Chef Check. Today we're going to take a look at subtracting with integer tiles. This will be just one of the few methods you will learn uh, and that you can pick from in class. Uh, so today let's take a look at a couple examples to see how this might look. Okay, so let's say we have the problem negative 8 minus negative 5. Uh, the steps for how to do that are up here at the top, and it says uh, we're going to build the first number. So when I say build, I'm just like draw it out. So we have negative 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 negatives, okay? That was this right here, and then it says remove the second number, and I know that I'm removing because it says we are subtracting here, and the second number is negative 5. So it says we have negative 8, we're taking away negative 5. I'm just going to kind of circle them and cancel them out here. Okay, we're removing those, and then whatever's left is your answer. So if I count them up, I've got 1, 2, 3, and those are negatives. So my answer here is negative 3. Pretty straightforward. We could take away what we needed to to see what was left. Let's take a look at this example, though. Here we have 4 minus negative 3. So it tells me I'm starting with 4 and I have to take away 3 negatives. So let's start by building the 4. So that's 4 positives. Okay, And then it says remove the second number. Well the second number here is a negative 3. Well I don't have any negatives on my drawing so how can I take them away if they're not there? Well, here's something that you guys already know about integer tiles. Um, you know that a positive and a negative, let's just kind of sketch that up here, a positive and a negative together make zero, right? So watch what I'm going to do with my picture here. I started out with four positives. I'm going to add a couple zero pairs to this. I'm going to add a positive and a negative, right? So that's like adding zero. A positive and a negative, a positive and a negative. And so what I did here was I kept 4 as my starting value, but I added some zeros to it. Okay, now I have some tiles that I can take away. So I have my starting 4. I'm going to remove 3 negatives. Check this out. We pull away those 3 negatives, and then whatever's left is our answer. I'm going to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm left with a positive 7. All right, let's see how that looks with another one. So here we have negative 5, and we're taking away 3. So I will build my first number. Oops, there we go, 5 negatives. And now this says that I'm removing. Uh, I'm taking away 3. So those are 3 positives. Again, I don't have anything there to pull from, so I'm going to add some 0 pairs. And I'm thinking to myself, how many 0 pairs should I add? Well, I need to take away 3 positives, so why don't we make sure to add three zero pairs. Okay, so I added um, a negative and a positive together, a negative and a positive, a negative and a positive. In doing that, you didn't change that starting value. We still have negative five, but we put a couple zeros on so we can have some tiles to pull away from. All right, so then we're going to be taking away three, and now I have three positives to remove. And then when I count up what's left, I see that it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and those are all negatives. So negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. All right, how about this one? We have 0 minus negative 9. So my first step is to build the first number. Well, how do I build 0? Let's make a neutral field or a bunch of 0 pairs. If you're not sure how many you're going to need, just take a look over here at the second number because remember, we're going to be needing to take away nine negatives. So I think it'd be a good idea to start with nine zero pairs. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I've got nine zero pairs here. So I started with zero. And I'm removing, that's what that says, nine negatives. So now I pull all these away, and whatever's left is my answer. Count them up, and I have just nine, nine positives. So zero minus negative nine is nine. All right, now it's your turn to give it a shot. I'd like you to pause the video and try these three examples. 
Make sure to draw out the tiles for this. I want to see how well you understand this method. Um, and then push play to come back and check uh, to see how you did. All right, how'd you do? For the first one, we get an answer of 12. On the second one, we get an answer of negative 2. And the third one, we get an answer of 5. If those answers make sense, you can be done watching now. If you'd like to see me go through them, I'm going to take the next uh, minute or so of the video to walk through those examples. All right, so the first one here, I would have 4. And I want to remove negative 8. I don't have any negatives, so I'm going to add... Um, eight zero pairs. There's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And when I remove eight negatives, remove those and those, I count up what's left. That's where my answer of 12 came from. Uh, for the next one, I have three negatives and I'm removing just one negative. I don't need a zero pair for that one because I had what I needed to take away. And that's where my answer of negative two came from. For the final one, I'm starting with 0, and I need to take away negative 5, so I'm going to start by building 5 0 pairs, and I'm going to remove 5 negatives, and count up what's left, and I see that I have 5 there. All right, we'll be doing more of these in class, but that's just an introduction to get you thinking about it and to give you a little primer for tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching.